so this is a lecture 18 part d so in this lecture we are going to discuss about the rlc circuit with dc excitation in previous lecture we have seen the rl and rc circuits with a dc excitation that are we can say transient analysis so that is we have seen two different cases that is source free and with the source for our source that is for rc as well as rl circuits now in this lecture we are going to see if there is a series RLC, if there is a parallel RLC, what is the conditions, right? And what is the responses we need to see, right? So that we can see here now. So whenever we talk about this RLC uh, DC excitations, so we need to find the responses for different conditions, right? So to find those conditions, first what we need to do? So first we'll find the KVL across this loop. Then for different routes, what are the conditions we have to see? If I apply KVL, so what are there are three elements. So there is VR, the voltage across inductor and voltage across capacitor, which is should be equal to the V applied voltage. So that is equation one. Now if I apply the Ohm's law across this R, that is we will get R into I plus across inductor always we will get L into DI by DT plus across capacitor 1 by C integral I DT is equal to V. Now to solve this one, so we need to differentiate this above expression with respect to T. If I differentiate, I will get R DI by DT plus L d square i by dt square plus integration will be cancelled that is i by c is equal to if i differentiate the constant i will get zero so this equation can be written like this d square i by dt square that is second order differential equation plus c this l i am div uh, dividing with from this expression so i will get r by l d i by dt plus i by lc which is equal to 0 now this is a quad, uh, differential equation se second order so we can solve by complementary function so this can be represented like this d square plus r by l d plus 1 by lc into i is equal to 0 now to find the complementary function so i will take this quadratic expression equal to 0 now to solve this type of we will get two different conditions so from the so we had we did not discuss the control system but once we done with control system we will get easily so two ways we will do same expression can be equate to 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square here omega n is called natural frequency and zeta is called damping factor same thing I will write here that is d square plus r by l d plus 1 by l c is equal to 0 if i equate with this so i'll get omega n is equal to 1 by root l c which is natural frequency similarly if i equate 2 zeta omega n is equal to r by l so what is the zeta i'll get r by see so this is 2 into l by omega n so that is into root lc so i will get r by 2 root of c by l is the zeta so this is important parameter the zeta so just remember zeta is equal to in rlc network r by 2 into c by l very very important uh, parameter now to find the roots from this quadratic uh, expression so what is the d1 comma d2 so we know minus b that is minus r by l plus r minus root of b square that is r by l whole square minus 4 ac 4 by lc by 2a so 2 into 1 so this will become minus r by 2l plus r minus root of if this 2 is going inside it will become 4 so i can write r by 2l whole square minus 4 4 cancel it will become 1 by lc this is square root so this is the two roots we got now between if this here there is a under root condition so be, be depending on this condition we will get four different cases right so those four different cases we need to 
C. So one by one we'll see. So inside the parameter, depending on that, I'll get four cases. Then first I will discuss case one. That is R by two L whole square. If it is greater than one, same condition can be written like this. So G ta is greater than one. That is R by two root of C by L is greater than one. So remember, they may ask what is the condition for over damped system either r by 2l whole square this is not 1 1 by lc because this is a under root that is r by 2l minus 1 by lc if it is greater than 0 we will get real roots so that is one it should be greater than 1 by l lc that means d1 comma d2 will be a real roots that is d1 comma d2 is equal to minus r by 2l plus r minus some value i'll take beta or we can say minus alpha plus or minus beta what is alpha here alpha is r by 2l and what is a beta beta is equal to root of r by 2l whole square minus 1 by lc <coughs> now if i uh, draw the poles so i'll get one is minus alpha plus beta minus alpha plus beta one more is minus alpha minus beta right this is the real part and this is the imaginary part so both are real so i will get the if i find the response that is i of t so from the mathematics i will get a into e power root so if i take minus alpha plus beta so minus alpha plus beta into t plus b into e power minus alpha minus beta into t so this is the con uh, response for this is the response for generally this is called when zeta is greater than 1 so this condition is called over damped condition or over damped system right so this is the response for over damped now in this case so if i draw the response so what is the response we will get so like this if i draw with respect to t this is i of t so over damped means so whenever t equal to 0 we will get 1 or we can say some constant then slowly it will decrease so this is a over damped response or over damped system response right next we'll see the case 2 which is if r by 2l whole square if it is equal to 1 by lc so this condition is called critical damped condition so same uh, expression can be written like this zeta is equal to 1 so what is zeta r by 2 root of c by l is equal to 1 if you equate so you will get both conditions are same right now we'll see what is the response we'll get that is d1 comma d2 will become minus alpha only because in the inside these two are equal so you'll get zero so if both roots are equal from the mathematics or the differential equations so i will get i of t is equal to if both Uh, roots are same i will get a plus b t into e power minus alpha t this is the equation 2 for the critical damped condition so if i write a uh, response i'll get very quick to the zero this is i of t right so this is constant so this is for critical damped response right next we'll see case 3 that is under damped condition so under damped condition there is case 3 is if that r by 2l whole square if it is less than 1 by lc or we can say zeta is less than 1 that is r by 2 root of c by l if it is less than 1 so what is the condition the roots will get imaginary now that is minus alpha plus or minus j beta because the inside the root so r by 2l is less than the 1 by lc so we'll get imaginary roots so once we get imaginary roots what is the response i will get i of t is equal to 
for real root i will get e power minus alpha t into a cos beta t plus b sin beta t right now for this uh, this condition is also called under damped condition right so to find under damped condition so what is this we will get some uh, damped oscillations so if i draw the response so what i will get see here if i draw the response c for minus alpha t right so i will get actually zero so e power minus alpha t means so this is the exponentially we need that so slowly it will leads to zero so this is called under damped response for i of t so whenever it is under damped conditions we need to find one time constant as well as damping oscillation frequency damping oscillations frequency so what are those conditions so we got d1 comma d2 which is minus r by 2l plus or minus root of r by 2l whole square minus 1 by lc this is whole square now what are the real part so the time constant always remember in rlc network what is the time constant 1 by this factor uh, this real part so what is the real part 1 by r by 2l so it is 2l by r is the time constant in rlc network similarly what is the damping frequency so this r by 2l minus 1 by lc will give you the damping frequency which is called omega d right so here i will write so damping frequency omega d is equal to so here we will get if i take 1 by root lc outside so what i will get so i will get r by 2l whole square into lc minus 1 so it is nothing but 1 by root lc into square root of so this is nothing but r square by 2 i mean 4 so l square so i will get c by l minus 1 so this is nothing but i will write here omega d is equal to omega n into root of zeta square minus 1 so this is the damped frequency of oscillations omega d so you can uh, observe from this expression so omega d will become omega n into root of g star square minus 1 or you can uh, simply write r square by 4 into c by l minus 1 so g star square is nothing but this one right so this is the time constant tau in rlc network and this is the damped oscillation frequency so these are the three cases now we'll see one more case suppose there is case 4 suppose if r equal to 0 that means in the rlc network there is no r at all so what i will get d1 comma d2 i will get plus or minus square root of minus 1 by lc which is nothing but plus or minus j some beta so when the roots are imaginary what we will get i of t is simply a cos beta t plus b sin beta t so this is generally this condition is called undamped response or undamped condition so if i write uh, the response so it will be purely sinusoidal i will get so there is no damping at all so i will get perfect sinusoidal wave so these are the four different conditions in a series rlc circuit when we apply dc excitation right so we sh we, what we have to remember here is the damping ratio or damping factor zeta which is r by 2 square root of c by l when you read under damped condition what is the condition that is omega d under damped frequency of oscillations damped frequency of oscillations so omega n 1 zeta square minus 1 right what is omega n natural frequency which is nothing but 1 by root lc and conditions for damped uh, over damped under damped critical damped and undamped system
so this is about the rlc series circuit when we apply dc excitation right next we will see the parallel one right 